You may know him as the guy who does the chicken dance. In Nashville, they know him as Ben Jones, winner of the Jack Daniels Invitational. Hi, I'm Crystal Matthews. Australian Ben Jones rode all three of his bulls in Nashville last weekend, and every single one was over 87 points. None was good enough for a round win, but consistent high scores will win out almost every time. Jones took second in round one on Saturday with 88 and three quarters on Super Hue. He followed that up Saturday during the second round with another second place finish, this time on Maverick for 87 and a half. But it was in the Built Four Top Championship round that he really turned it on, notching a 90 and a half on Pinball Wizard. All told, he collected 266 and a quarter points, enough for the win and nearly $46,000. What's more, Jones will now go down in the history books as the man whose winner's check pushed the PBR over $100 million in payouts to its riders since it was founded in 1992. Right behind the enthusiastic Aussie was Austin Meyer who missed out on the win by a mere four points. Meyer came into Nashville having bucked off his last six bulls, but he covered all three this weekend. On Saturday, he scored 89 and a half points on Red Hot, serving notice that he wasn't about to let Renato Nunes run away in the title chase. On Sunday, he notched 90 and three quarters on Super Duty in the championship round. The difference came in round two, when he only managed 82 points on Heavy Hitter. Still, it was a good weekend for Meyer, who went into Nashville over 1,700 points behind Nunes in the chase for the gold buckle. He's now just 970 points behind, and we've got Memphis coming up next weekend, where there are 900 possible points on the line. As for Nunes, he was 0 for the weekend at the Jack Daniels Invitational, bucking off Junior in round 1, then Cool Spot in round 2. On the injury front, world number 4 Travis Briscoe continues to struggle. He strained his left wrist and elbow in Nashville, and is questionable for Memphis next weekend. In the meantime, though, the race for the world title just got more interesting. The Final Five Showdown, where the top ten riders get a bonus bull at each of the last five events, begins just two events from now. Last year, the title race came down to two riders. This year, it's still wide open. The World Finals are coming up sooner than you think, so be sure to get your tickets now at unlvtickets.com. We'll be back with a preview of the battle on Beale Street as the PBR invades Memphis this weekend. Thanks for watching for the PBR. I'm Crystal Matthews.